Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hello. And uh, Richard was just suggesting that we do one on shortcut keys because we can't remember all the keys. And to be honest, I can't either. So what we're going to do just for fun is to see how many keys we can remember and, and what they do. And to help you remember them. That's right. So uh, let's see. I'm going to start with the ones that I use the most often. Uh, what it, do you know what G does? Moves. That's right. Typing G turns it white. You see now it's moving around. And I didn't even have to click on that object. Just the selected object will start moving. Woo so I'll left click. <laughs> now it's done move. How about R? Rotates it. That's right. S? Um, scales it. Ooh. <laughs> That's right. How about X? Deletes it. <laughs> That's right. X would delete it. Da -da -ba. <laughs> Space bar? Um, add something. It... Space bar? That's right. It's for adding a whole bunch of stuff here. Yeah. So we'll just go throw another cube in there because everybody likes cubes. <laughs> How about A? Um, deselect or select all. That's right. So if there's one thing selected, A will deselect. Uh, it, if there's nothing selected, A will select all. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. How about uh, uh, the control key? Uh, that snaps it to the grid. That's right. So if we're in move mode and I hold control key, it's snapping. How about shift control? Um, I can't remember. That goes uh, a little bit slower. Yes, it's still snapping, but in smaller increments. I wonder what shift, does shift just make it go slower, but not, no snapping? That's right. <laughs> I actually had to think about that. I started doing it. So shift by itself is no snapping, but it moves real nice and slow. Just like uh, our bit on spinners and toggles and stuff, when you're moving the spinners or uh, these numbers, you're holding the shift key, slows it down, it does that when you move in here too. And uh, so it's nice how the similarity, you can use that. Yeah, shift and control, slow down and snap most any, most about it. Well, control does the snapping. Shift yeah. does the smaller increments. Well, right. Okay, so here I'm rotating and I'm holding control and snapping. And I'm shift rotating and it's snapping in individual increments. Uh, scaling. Ooh. I'm holding control and it's snapping to tenths. I'm holding shift and it's snapping to hundredths. Or I'm just letting go and it's going all the way to the ten thousandths <laughs> position. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going on the command keys. Let's see. Uh, what are the ones that we know? You know, and, and well, the command keys vary based on what window. Right now we're just talking about the 3D window in object mode. You can, swin you can switch views with some of the number pads. Number keys. pads. That's right. You could say, let's look at the front with one. Seven is... Um, the side? Top. top. Seven's top. Three is side. Yeah. And then, w what about the other numbers? Uh, five toggles perspective on and off. So you go from perspective mode to orthographic. And then, look at, uh, do you ever use, uh, here, let's, uh, control X. What does control X do? Um, oh, I forget. Erase all. Oh. Let's open a new document. And then uh, on the number pad, here's ones that you might not use too often, is uh, four and six. There's four, there's six, it's rotating our view. And then eight and two. And remember, this is on the number pad. If you ever use the top thing, you might be a little bit scared because that switches, um, I think that switches layers. Yeah, if you use the numbers that are above the letters, that switches you between layers, and that's another shortcut. So you can say, Layer one, so watch down here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And actually, if you hit that by accident and you don't know what's going on, you could actually look at that square thing and you'll see that you're on a different layer thing. That's also, right. you can choose it by clicking, too. And you can but, do it by clicking, but we're talking about shortcut keys right now. So right. Okay. hit the <laughs> tilde to show all, so they're all selected. Uh, you can also do alt one to do 11, layer 11, Ooh. all two, three, four, five, six, all the way up 
to 910, well, uh, Alt 0 is uh, layer 20. Wow. Now, here's, a, here's another one that's cool uh, that I actually do use is when I want to switch to, here, let's do Control X, and I've got my cube here, and let's say that I've got my cursor key, cursor, 3D cursor here, and I want to rotate around the cursor. Do you know what I type? Um, uh, I... Period. Period. Okay. Not the dot on the number pad. Period. So period will switch your pivot to uh, the 3D cursor. Now, comma will switch it to here, but what if you want to go back to the one where it's just around the median? Uh, you do shift comma. Mm -hmm. All right. And, um, of course, for the game engine, P is play and escape. P is play. And escape is done. Um, escape is to quit that's right right and uh and hold on there's the i want to say uh since we mentioned period uh if you press the uh decimal point on the number pad what that is is it zooms the selected items to the view so for example let's say i had two things selected and i press period or, or the you know yeah. the decimal point decimal point thing so uh it's then like you can the press on the number pad. <laughs> you can press the uh, home key as well. All right, and now uh, let's see camera view zero, and let's see uh, what if we had two cameras in the scene. I, I I don't think Richard knows this one. I don't. So let's say I, I add another camera if I can click on the right thing. So I've got two cameras in the scene here. What if I want to look through this one? I type, you know, zero to look through the camera, control zero to set the uh, selected object to the camera. So now I'm just rotating the camera around here. So uh, you look through the selected camera? What, what uh, control zero does is it sets the currently selected object to be the camera. Mm. Um, so if you um, did that to the cube, would it become a camera? Yes, it would, and you're actually ahead of me because on the next bit of Blender, I'm going to show that. Oh. So let's go back to shortcut keys. Uh, and But very good, very good. Let's see. Uh, control W. Is uh, save. That's, that's right. So we hadn't saved this yet, so it's going to come up and ask us. Let's save that as Untitled Blend. And if I do Control-W again, it'll say, do you want to save over it? And you say yes, because you want to write over it. Unless you don't, then you don't do that. <laughs> they left click away. <laughs> That's right. And uh, let's see. How about... Uh, let's see, what's another good one? Here's W to get our Boolean tools. And really, it's a lot of them that I use on the on the left on, on my left hand. Um, is there any commands on like backspace, enter, shift, control, stuff like that? Well, there is. Uh, you know, you hold shift when you're uh, moving something. Well, yeah. And the home key sets everything in your view. Oh, right, and control snaps it. We already covered that. If you're moving something. You, when you're done moving, you can hit enter instead of left clicking. Oh yeah, and when you're, you're doing like, if you save, you can hit enter too instead of left clicking or something. Now let's do a couple more because we're running long on time. We're going to run out of time in a minute. Uh, in edit mode, we can select some vertices and type E to extrude, right? Yeah. Or you can type control tab. And control tab allows us to select the mode, so we can switch over to like face selection mode, for example. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can select all and type U to unwrap, so we can unwrap it. So that uh, if we see how, when as soon as we unwrapped it, see down here, mm -hmm. it created a UV texture. So mm -hmm. let's see. Uh, you know what? We're over nine minutes, so that's that's enough for this this one. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk to you later. Yeah. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.